There's nobody there over 30. There's uh. one old fart who's 40 in the corner. <laughs> What is the average age and education of a NASA employee? Is the demographic getting younger or older over the years? So are we attracting people to NASA? By the way, we all saw the video of the launch and return of the first stage in the SpaceX rocket, and you see mission control for SpaceX. There's nobody there over 30. There's uh, one old fart who's 40 in the corner, <laughs> who's looking around like this. Everybody else who's jumping and hooting and hollering, they, right. they, I don't, if they're 35, I'm, uh, so they, that skews young, it looks to me. It does skew young. And if you look at our NASA centers, which again, we have nine NASA centers, plus our federally funded research and development center, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, making FFR 10 uh, around the country. Is that's, 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 that's how it yes. rolls? If you're, in, if, you're in, if you're in the loop? If you're in the FFRDC. <laughs> exactly. Right. No, you still struggle. You still I, I, I almost, yeah. It almost uh, rolled off. You know what I mean? It's hard you know. to get it to roll off. Yeah. But I need uh, to know more about the FFRDC. The, the average age is about 52 oh. to 56, depending on the center. Now, part of that is because we have people who who don't want to leave. You know, they love what they do. They're still productive. We've had scientists who are still, you know, writing significant papers in their 80s. So that does tend to hurt your your Averages. statistics. Um, on the other hand, you know, I the, know it was in the 60s. Everyone just died at age 60. That was it. Well, it's kind of. <laughs> so. <laughs> we have people who don't like to retire. They it's love the what they do. Smoking, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of smoking and a lot of ham <laughs> consumption. <laughs> that was, ham was a big part ham of American was a diet. Big back part then. of American it, diet. It back every holiday, it, everything, it, everything. Yeah. And then when you didn't have ham, you had spam. I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I told, but we're healthier I told my now. son that spam was food. And he said, what, Danny? <laughs> what? Dad, you're eating emails that you don't want? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Where were you? Uh, so we've also had periods of time where the federal government has hiring freezes on. And so, and, and NASA downsized when the shuttle program ended. So all of that's combined to make the federal, our federal workforce older. And we need more younger people in there. When you have a hiring freeze, but it applies to NASA? It's a brain freeze. Nice! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Is that good? That. Is that yes, good? exactly. What do I get on B plus? I, I, I'm going to give you a B plus uh, on that one. <laughs> you, you said C? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, B. <laughs> No, no, no. No, yeah. it's a brain freeze. It's a brain freeze. It's a, if, if it applies to NASA, it's a brain freeze because you're not you're not bringing in fresh fresh brain blood. All right. Right. Which means that there, those 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 resources are being allocated someplace else, most likely Wall Street. Yeah. <laughs> right. And but and, and the other thing is though you really want that mix of ages yeah. because you know we've got people who really know how to land on Mars. You, you know, we have people who know how to keep humans up in space safe. So you need that kind of wisdom and you need the fresh blood coming in that's going to carry that forward. But you also so you need, need a culture both. where fresh blood who is not biased by how you always did do it can be open to a new idea. Exactly, and that, that need for innovation is something that uh, we worked on a lot over the last couple of years at NASA. How do we ensure that we're the most innovative? As a 50-year-plus 50, 50 old agency, you really do worry about are you being the most innovative, and NASA worries about that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I know the age of NASA because it was founded the same week I was born. 1958. So I, I, I feel the pain. Yeah, a lot of people don't. I, I feel... <laughs> a lot of people don't know this, but he feels uh, that lack of innovation. Yeah, whenever, whenever Neil calls NASA, uh, the the message is, "I'm your father." <laughs> so. <laughs>